Hello, this is Tolo from Tribefold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, effectively and efficiently weight paint a mesh to an armature. Now, in Blender, now let me go to weight paint this after you have uh, parented your mesh to your armature with, with Control P. So you click on your mesh and you click on your armature and you press Control P. And with this, we're going to choose with automatic weights. And what it'll do is it will try to effectively uh, uh, weight the mesh according to where your armature is. So once you do that, you can go into pose mode down here. Click on pose mode. And when it turns blue, your armature turns blue, that means it's in pose mode. You can start rotating it. As you can see, it's, it's really paired up pretty well to this mesh because it's just a basic mesh with a basic armature. So there's nothing really complex in it. And then let's click on your, your mesh. Let's go to weight paint down here and see how it looks on your in your window. And you can see it's done a pretty good job. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, actually take off the weight paint so we could so I could show you how to do it using uh, this this method that this method that I use. So we're on subtract with our brush. We're going to increase the, the size of our brush to make it a little bit bigger. And then just delete that. Let's turn it around get the other side also to make sure there's no weighting on it at all. And let's reduce our brush back to its normal size. Now if you don't see this panel on the left side of your screen in, in Blender, uh, just press T on your keyboard and it'll bring it up uh, just like that. And with uh, weight painting, uh, the, the gradient of weight painting goes from red to blue or blue to red actually. Blue means that there is no weight paint on your subject at all, on your mesh at all. And then red is when it's completely weight painted completely completely to that bone. And anything in between is just, you know, medium. Uh, but the ways to do it, sometimes when you weight paint or you parent a uh, mesh to it to an armature, it doesn't really do it uh, accurately. And sometimes you have spots you have to fill in. And the way I used to do that before what I would, is that I would go to my brush panel for the weight paint and I would click on you know, the brush panel and choose which brush I wanted to use and I would click add or multiply then I would start to paint on it. Let's click add on this also and I would paint on it. Only problem with that is one, uh, it only gets one side of your your mesh which is the front facing side and the other thing is you don't want a sharp contrast between your painted end and your not and your non painted end because when you do that you try to move your armature which let's go back to object mode and you move you choose your, your armature and try to move it you can see that at the base here it's a really sharp sharp stop to that movement which is not what something that you want you want a gradual smooth movement from the painted end to the non-painted end. Now let's go back into weight paint and let me undo that. Now the method that I use now which I've been using for a couple of years is really really helpful because what it does is that it, it helps with the gradual uh, weighting of the paint and I'm going to show you how that works right now. Let's click on add Okay, and then when you scroll down this tab, you'll see weight gradients. I only found this out like a couple of years ago, and this has helped a lot. If you click on weight gradients, you would have to, in order to use it, you click on it to activate it, and, and it brings up these crosshairs. And you hold down your your uh, left mouse button and you drag. And as you can see, it gradually goes from complete weight paint to medium weight paint to no weight paint at all. Not only that, if you spin it around, it's got on the other side also. And then when you go back into object mode and you choose your armature and rotate that armature, now you can see that's a lot smoother, a lot smoother transition between the painted end and the non-painted end, which is very, very helpful. And you can do the same thing with this also. It's best to do it with uh, 
you know, humanoids when it comes to arms, legs, torsos, things like that. With the fingers, it's a little bit iffy because once you click and drag it, it actually gets that whole hand in, instead of just one finger. But when it comes to you wanting to do whole parts of large parts of your mesh with an armature, this is the best way to do it. So you click on your uh, mesh, uh, shift click on your armature, control P uh, with automatic weights once again. And it's going to do with automatic weights again, just going through the process again as a conclusion to what we've uh, talked about. Let's go to pose mode. Click on your armature and if you go rotate, it does a good job. But like I said, for, I'm going to show you how to do it again uh, with this four sided uh, uh, mesh. And we're going to go into weight paint again. And we're going to delete, get rid of that, uh, get rid of this weight paint on, on this part of our mesh. Let's go to the back part too. And like I said before, if you do it with fingers or a hand, things like that, it's not really a good idea to do it this way. But with limbs, you know, arms, legs, torsos, things like that, this is the best way to do it. And I'm going to show you how, how it would look if you do it with the fingers. If you click on weight gradient again, you click and drag, it, it selects that whole side. So imagine if this were fingers, this would get your whole the whole set of four fingers at the top. You'd have to go through each part and just pretty much uh, take off the paint off of every single finger just to have it stick to just one hand, one finger. So like I said before, with arms, legs, torsos, things like that, this is a good way to do it. Use a weight gradient. And it's the same way with uh, clearing off the uh, any excess weight paint on there. You just go up to your top part of your, your tab there and click on subtract and then weight gradient again and it'll subtract it and then it has just that top part front and back done so and just uh, for a quick note every time you want to apply any kind of weight gradient you always have to activate always have to click on this tab to always activate it all the time it doesn't you can't just click on it once and then continue to just click and drag every time you want to use your weight gradient you click on it and click and drag so that's my blender quick tip for today on using the weight gradient in blender for a quicker weight painting experience hope this was uh, pretty clear uh, to understand and pretty easy to use all right thanks a lot and uh, you guys have a great weekend have a great day all right talk to you later all right bye